Hi guys and welcome back to the second lesson and today what we're going to do is progress from what we did last time. So last time I taught you a spider exercise uh, which is really good for technique and it's, and it's absolutely 100% the thing you should be doing every time you pick up a guitar because it's a great warm up. But today we're going to learn a G major scale. Now the reason I've chosen to start here is because I just want to explain to you one why we learn scales and the, the concept of, of just kind of a basic scale and, and how to do it on the guitar and how it all works. So the first thing I want to do is just explain to you why we use scales. Now you want to be able to improvise, you want to play solos, you want to be sounding like Slash and Clapton and Joe Bonamassa and whoever you like, you want to be sounding like that person. Now they use scales and the reason for that is because it means they can play in the right key. So someone might throw at them, right I want to be able to play in the key of A. And you know, straight away as a lead player, you want to go, okay, what do I know? I know an A major scale, right? I can play that over the top of this and it all sound lovely. So from a lead person's perspective, it's really simple. You just, you play the right scale from the key that you've been given, okay? So it's easy really, but you need to start knowing the shapes and how to play them, okay? So I'm just going to give you a quick example of what that sounds like, seeing as I've got this lovely setup. I'm just going to do a quick loop of a G major chord, okay? So for example, uh, here's a G major chord, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And by the power of magic, that's now looping for me. Um, and I'm just going to play a basic G major scale and you're going to see hopefully that it sounds really pretty and it all fits and this is the idea, okay? So this is kind of based around the scale we're going to be learning. So, I do get carried away sometimes with these things, but it sounds great, right? And this is exactly why we're going to learn the scale. Everything I just played there, yeah, it was more advanced than we're going to do now, but it was all just based around a G major scale. So, now let me show you the scale that we're going to learn today. It's the G major scale, and it's this first position, and it looks like this. Hopefully that sound is quite familiar to you guys. It's kind of like do, re, mi, fa, so, la, di, do. Uh, I'm no singer, obviously, but that's what it is. Um, and that's all we need. We just need the first octave, it's called. So the first seven notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a major scale. And then after that, it gets back to the first note again. And if you carry it on, you just repeat those seven notes over and over again. Okay, that's all it is guys, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through uh, how to play this. So what I want you to do is get your finger on the third fret of the E string, okay? So we should all remember the E string, the elephant string, elephant and donkeys grow big ears, right? Um, and I'm gonna get you to play it with your second finger this time, okay? And the reason for that is because the shape kind of goes backwards, so we're gonna need the first finger back here. Remember the importance of having one finger per fret, like we talked about before. So we're going to play that sec uh, third fret of the E string. Okay, that's G. Now the little finger is now going to play the fifth fret. Okay, which plays the A. So we're going to go third fret, fifth fret. Okay. Now in the, in the next lesson or the one coming up after that, we're going to talk about what these notes are all called going up the neck. But for now, let's just get the scale shape right. So there to there. Now this is where my first finger is necessary because I'm going to go to the A string now, the second string, and play the second fret. Okay, that's my third note. So I've got one, two, three. Then I'm going to play my uh, second finger on the A string. Okay, one, two, three, four. I've got a fourth note, third fret. Then I'm going to go fifth fret with my little finger. Okay. Then I'm going to go up to the D string play the second fret of the D string with my first finger, then the fourth fret of the D string with my third finger, try and get the exact fingers here, and then little finger right there on the fifth fret of the D string. Okay, So all together, real slow, we've got third fret on the E string, fifth fret on the E string, then we've got second fret on the A string, third fret on the A string, fifth fret on the A string. Then we've got 2nd fret on the D string, 
fourth fret and then fifth fret. So it sounds like this. Now, the other thing I want you guys to consider is with your right hand, I want down, up strokes. Okay, so all alternate picking. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, even when it means crossing strings, we're going to do alternate picking. Okay, so just try and actually literally say that to yourself. Down, up, down, up. To force yourself to do that picking pattern. Okay, so there's your scale shape. Okay, and as always, we want to be practicing once you've got it kind of basically together with that drum beat. That's so important to kind of get your rhythm through your lead playing as well, uh, which is often kind of misunderstood and underrated the fact that you need to have rhythm in lead as well. Um, we're going to get the drums going. So I'm going to go to my trusty drum machine and press play. And we're at 80 BPM again. This is your target again. Okay, if you can go faster awesome but it has to be accurate and it has to sound good so here we go after four one two three four okay i'm gonna do it one more time two three four That's what you're going to be aiming to do. Let's stop that drum. Now, you've got the tab, so we remember how to read tab, hopefully. So you've got the tab and you've got the audio to play along to to try and get it up to that speed. Um, and that is going to be your task for this lesson. Okay, so now what you've got in your arsenal, you've got your one, two, three, four exercise, which you should be doing every single time you pick up the guitar. And then, secondly to that, with the same drum beat, you're going to now try and play your G major scale. Okay, remember, it's all for a good cause. If you spend time on it now, it's gonna really help you be able to play all these cool solos that we've got coming up. So, I'll see you in the next lesson.